Hello, look what I've got. It's a Meng Caterpillar D9R, as it says on the top, Armoured Bulldozer. And it's, I've never done one of these unboxing things before. I'm going to give it a try, see how it comes out. Basically, it's a lot of nice artwork on the box. It tells you, gives you an idea of the painting schemes on it. Yep, all the way round. Gives you a little bit of information about the, the bulldozer. And inside the box is what we're really interested in, isn't it? Obviously it's 135. It comes off. And inside in the instructions. Not fit on there? Yeah, of course it will. I uh, got the instructions. Inside the instructions it gives you quite a bit of information about the, the, the machine itself. And apparently they were built by Caterpillar for the Israeli army. In 2000 and something, I can't remember exactly when, the American military, so the US military, bought several of them to go to Iraq. And therefore you get three different versions. You get the US version and you get two Israeli versions. That's for the paint job and for the build. See what I mean? When you first start, look at the instructions. Shows you on the top there. Three builds, A, B and C, up here at the top. Okay. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of difference at the moment, but there might be. B and C seem to have a machine gun mounted on the roof. And there's an obvious colour difference with the, the US one. The instructions seem very comprehensive. Look at it easy enough to follow. Gives you ideas of the, the, the paint scheme as it goes along. Some of it seems quite complex, others other bits don't seem quite easy. That's the instructions. The reasons are done only to themselves. A, a competition, a model competition for 2001. We're now halfway through 2002. In the box, sheet of transfers, I'm not going to open them because it, 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 it doesn't do them any good. But upside down anyway. I, by the looks of the instructions, very few get used on. I'm going to build the US version because it's going to go on to uh, a, a Hemet truck and trailer, tractor and trailer. So it only makes sense to do it as a... Um, a US version. Little bit of photo etch and according to the instructions at least two or three of these bits aren't used. So they go into the stash of spares. Quite a lot of glass parts. It's a bluish colour. I'm sure you can see that from there. And that would be armoured glass. You may notice I've already had the the bags out. I've opened all the bags. I'm not going to open them all as most people do on these uh, on these um, unboxing videos. But what I do with them is when I get a model, I take all the bags out of the box, I letter them, and put them back in the box. Now when I when I start building, all I have to do is tip them up like that, and I, at a glance I can see. Put all the all the frets out. It makes it easier for me. That's all. Uh, everybody else has their own way. You can buy little um, racks, like a plate rack, for putting your frets in. Personally, I think it's a lot cheaper just to put a letter on each bag, and the bag keeps it safe as well. It stops it being scratched. The plastic on this looks. you can hear that it, it looks really quite good it's it, it's quite hard unlike at least one hobby boss model that i've already done where the plastic was very soft and caused all sorts of problems that looked really
quite good quality. There seem to be some moulding marks on the, in, on the inside, left over from the moulding. Not much trouble to get rid of it, that's not a problem. But I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It looks very detailed as well, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, of course you can. It looks really quite detailed. There's apparently there are 370 yellow plastic frets. Um, again, it's, it's really quite good stuff that. It's Yeah, all nice and hard, hard plastic, much easier to work with than the soft plastic. 370 parts in yellow plastic. And then, I haven't counted them by the way, I'm, I'm only going off what I've read. There are 270 individual pieces to build up the tracks in this black plastic. And that seems quite a lot really. Looks easy enough two side pieces, one for each side, and the track in the middle, put that back in there, as I say, lots and lots of bits in there, lots of plastic, there's also an actual piece of hose that comes with it, and of course the silicon fillers to, to, to allow the wheels to turn, but that hose is a good idea, and it saved me buying some new, that would go for the, the shovel, and of course the the ripper at the back. Most of the holes all in one piece. That's it, the the hull of the thing. And it's all in in. Well, I say one piece. It's one large piece with two large mouldings and a bit a front piece and a rear piece. I would imagine uh, that could have been made into much smaller bits. I'm sure. But there you go. According to the instructions, you can assemble this with the doors open or closed, the roof hatch can be assembled open or closed and that's about where we're up to he said to me, I'll get that in later that's about where we're up to and simple enough hope that's been informative for you if you've enjoyed the video or it's been helpful I'd be very grateful if you would like and subscribe any comments you have positive, negative, either way please leave them in the, in the space below Ta-da!